and I'm gonna ping. Okay, I have also the arrow. This is going to be the play, guys. This is going to be the play. This is going to be the play. Let's go! Instant kill on that. Moving to get also this guy. Nice! Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a quirky guide on mid lane featuring exhaust, featuring fleet footwork and starting with Doran's Blade into Mana Mune, into Trinity Force, into Infinity Edge and stuff like that. Now we can see there, we can see there that, we can see that word, so the enemy knows now when my jungler will actually go for blue buff. Now I really like to put that word generally when I play Pantheon mid for invades, right? Because you can easily you can easily do an invade there uh, as mid laners that can gank. Or you can get so much information from the from that word because you'll know the position of your of the enemy jungler when you do the word like that. Now my my jungler will sh or should use his red trinket there because of that and we're going to talk in this guide about lots of stuff mainly about runes choices we're going to talk about summoner spells we're going to start with that we're going to talk items we thought we, I thought uh, I talked about the build already but you get the point I'm gonna go here and overly poke him because I don't expect an actual grave gank I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna proc the pot here I may need to exhaust, yep, I'm gonna exhaust here, because we don't wanna die, that was a risk from me that I assumed, and I did not have my, I did not have my W, I do have it now, uh, and I can heal up, he has no longer any potions, so that exhaust was worth, because he cannot heal now, because I'm gonna keep poking him, and I'm gonna keep the distance on him, and also I'm gonna look on Echo, right, because we want to be sure of what he does and he failed that okay okay I got the kill but I'm gonna die here unless he helps me but probably probably can get the kill on graves as well or he should get the kill now nah, never mind it's fine it's fine because it's great it's great because of that uh, it's fine because I have exactly enough gold to get a potion and my first item, my first item will be Terror of the Goddess, but we're going to talk right now about the runes. On Corky you can go for Fleet Footwork for Conqueror, you can go for Electrocute, you can go for, uh, can go for this, I forgot the name, Lethal Tempo. Uh, and after you choose the first rune, you can go for Triumph, Legend, Bloodline, Cup, the Grace, and Secondary Mana, Flow, Band, Transcendence, and these rune stats. I chose this because of Silas Hill. I could also go for Ash's rune, Lethal Tempo, or Conqueror. I prefer generally Lethal Tempo for the damage. Also... Electrocute is more in bursty matchups, so against probably against AP mages, so you can instantly proc Electrocute. Right, let's let's bait this guy here with two auto attacks. Let's bait a bit more. Okay, this is not this is not going to hit. Can you not tax me, please? Okay, so we're gonna word around here. We're gonna put this word here, and we're gonna stay to this side. Now let's keep talking about the runes for a second. Why is this rune the greatest choice, I think? Because it offers so much sustain until you can actually scale. And Corky Ruff's lane phase actually uh, makes the best use of this rune. Because look at the heal, right? Look at the amount of heal that I get from this. I am instantly healed. I'm against the Silas, by the way, a champion that should heal a lot more than I am. And so I can just, I can just poke, I can just do this. I can get hit by the tower there. I don't care because I'm gonna heal back up. So I believe this is a good rune choice besides the other two uh, from uh, this tree, from the precision tree. And also the secondary, I went for mana flow and for transcendence to scale a bit and to have mana until I I fill up my tier. Now for uh, for summoner spells, you can play Corky generally with exhaust. You can play with maybe teleport. I've seen that's a good way to play with to play Corky. You can also play him with cleanse against Zoe, Syndra and stuff like that. You probably should. And you can also pick uh, heal maybe, but generally you should want either exhaust or teleport because of the massive, massive stuff and versatility that you can do with those. I 
screw that up. Now I can just spam rockets on him, by the way. Uh, it's, it's on cooldown, but I can still spam rockets. I should fill up this Terror of Goddess. I chose Exhaust, because mid to late game I want to exhaust their Kaiser, I want to exhaust their Graves and be able to 1 versus 1 them without uh, risking major losses, so to say. I don't have Ward on the top side, I have Ward only on the bot side now. And I'm not sure how many stacks he get by getting my ult. I'm gonna W here, because it was predictable. And he's throwing lots and lots of uh, rockets at me. It's fine, he pushes with them. I will just keep spamming spells until I get my first item. And that's fine. I, I will just heal up, I will just wait for my first item. And my first item will be Mana Mune. And I need about 800 gold more, more or less. And I want Mana Mune because it offers so much versatility and so much... Uh, so much mana that you can actually spam spells and the when you finish mana immune it's actually quite amazing in terms of damage and most pro players will do this build by the way most pro players will play with this build so it's a good choice okay so you, you can try this build you can try the mana immune sorg shoes trinity force into uh, trinity force into infinity edge it's a pricey build it's a mid to late game build but once you get the mana moon going, you start to actually deal some damage. And let me just show you right here. Okay, I'm gonna get boots after that because I really, I'd really want to start stacking this tier with auto attacks instead of spells, right? And now I keep an eye on this uh, echo because I really want to see what he's doing. And I can just throw small cues, uh, small rockets, sorry, in his direction, just to poke him up, just to poke him up. See? And I'll force a recall now, because of that. And he got the blue buff. I'm moving here, so that we actually surprise that guy. And I am going to get the kill here. No, 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 back off, back off. Their bot, their bot is coming. It's fine. So now I have the package up. We're gonna talk about the spells in a second. We talked about the build. And after those four items, you could go for something defensive or you could go for other stuff. I generally may want um, attack speed items such as Phantom Dancer, such as RFC. Uh, I guess these are decent options to play uh, in late game as Corky and it will make you so, so strong. I missed that cannon, Jesus Christ. So, for abilities, your passive says that 80% of your auto attacks or AD damage goes to magic damage. Your mo most of your spells are AP, by the way, and so you'd want generally, uh, you'd want generally to get sorc shoes because that's why this works. And the strongest part of Corky's Kist is actually the other package after eight minutes. This package, which I'm not gonna get now because I don't want to roam. You generally want either for massive team fights when you can hit at least two people, or you'd want this an enhanced W just for. Uh, should have, if he kills him, I should have got that, okay. Yep, he hinted. Here is where package would have worked, but I cannot predict, uh, I cannot predict this real echo getting caught, sorry. So that will stay there for a while, and I will just stack up this. I will just stack up this, and I have to actually use exhaust here because of the massive damage that he deals, and not getting potions. That's a problem. I did not expect that burst. I did not expect uh, that either. I can go here though. I can go here. And I can help him. I'm not gonna steal the kill though. Just wanted the assist and a bit of heal, right? So it's very important. I'm going to actually put a vision ward here so that I cover this way for Graves. He's, he's there. We noticed him there. Also, I'm gonna heal up now with auto attacks. I'm gonna W away the moment he tries to jump on me. Also, maybe Graves is diving me. So I have to pay close attention to that as well. And so I'm gonna do this. I got this. Don't know where the Silas is. Don't care where the Silas is because I am actually not interested in that. Can you stop pushing my lane? For Christ's sake, I need the CS. But if we do two versus two now, we might actually risk losing, because I might be... Ah, that's so predictable. 
Just get this. Okay. I no longer have mana now. And I, I still need to talk about abilities. I want to talk about abilities. This guy just nullifies everything. No, no, no. I'm backing off, back off. Because I want to get this item. Next item should be three fourths. But we can actually roam bot now. We can actually roam bot and they will probably want to clash on the tower. So and I'm gonna ping. Okay, I have also the arrow. This is going to be the play, guys. This is going to be the play. This is going to be the play. Let's go! Instant kill on that. Moving to get also this guy. Nice! Really nice play right there. So you've seen how, how Corky's passive also worked. The big one. I'm gonna recall now because I have a lot of gold. But we should generally do this. I'm pinging for this guy to do this. And I'm returning now with more gold. Also a vision word and not, not getting up. Why is Yumi attached to me, dude? Ah, he shouldn't be attached to me now. We should get Drake. Why are you here? Okay, so Q, you throw that Phosphorus Bomb. W, you dash a straight distance. W is very strong when you have that other passive. E reduces armor magic resist and ultimate you throw uh, the, these missiles very strong uh, as well. And help, help, help. Oh. This is int. Okay. Okay, we got that, we got that. I uh, want triple kill. And I'm lagging. Got another kill there. So I am 7 1 now. The Yumi, by the way. The Yumi does so much. And top lane destroys the other guy. So, you got the point on what I'm doing. You got the point, right? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Please don't steal it. Oh, thank you. I'm just waiting for the for the Hextage passive. Uh, the package. Jesus Christ, I, I know the name, I don't know why it said Hextish Passive. And now Yumi really likes me because I'm very fed and I probably have enough gold soon. Enough gold soon for the uh, beautiful, beautiful Trinity Force. Let's just get another stack of passive there. And let's just auto attack this. Attack. He cleared the wave, I cannot get any more plates, but I am 7-1 now, and let's see, yeah, apparently the DC actually destroys them, and also my team goes very well. I need 500 gold more for finishing infinity, uh, sorry, Trinity Force, which is your first core item, I am actually looking. Got an exhaust down, we still have one, we still have my exhaust. Right? So I am practically invulnerable with this Yumi on top of me. This That sounds wrong. So, the main thing that you probably have to learn on Corky is how to play the lane phase early. Because that's that's why I'm playing with this room, by the way. Okay. Moving that around and... Can you ult? I'm backing off because I've seen graves here. Gonna ping. I think I want his right. Can Q ultimate that? See? <laughs> Got the free right. And now I think I want my Trinity Force. Uh, so I'm backing off right here. Right here, a bit with lag, but it's fine. I could try to chase this guy down, but that's not the intent. That's really not the intent. And I need 10 more gold for Trinity Force. The calculations were incorrect. The idea was good though. Now, a good way for teleport usage, by the way. If you have teleport, you can easily play around with the package. I'm not gonna get the package now because there is no team fighting going on. Is you attached to me because they had an argument on bot or something? Because I don't play with the chat up. I don't see what's happening. Uh, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, also, 
we're now going to see how Corky actually works in the mid to late game. But as I said, on early lane phasing, your your job, besides to stack this item up and besides to spam spells to stack this up, and besides controlling a bit the map when you can with your uh, package, is to simply just uh, farm, stay alive, don't try to get kills because Corky cannot really do that early on until some major items, and just be content with surviving, be the main survival tool. I'm gonna back off a bit. And now we just stack this up, right? With auto attacks, with everything. I am level 11, Silas is dead. Trash is going casually around me. Uh, I don't... I don't wanna go there. I'm not sure why is he so deep. I'm coming, I'm coming, but I had to take it the longer way. If she comes here, I could actually get the kill. Why did he return there? That was a decent. Uh, that's the trash for coming in. Okay. Too much. Just attach, attach to Echo and we win the 3 versus 5 fight right here. If he gets the kill as well. Oh my god, that Yumi. <laughs> And now the Q. Let's go. Well, that was on the tower. As th that went well, as you can see how strong this is. Now I can go for Sork Shoes, or I could have gone for a BF Sword. I really like the Sork Shoes in this context, even though the BF Sword was handy, because I actually spaced out so much in terms of item. I had instant Trinity Force, that's why I didn't get Sork Shoes faster. And now we can get here, we can get this in here. You can see how strong how strong Corky is when he's ahead and this is this items you, to these items you get regardless to these items you get after you farm sometime and you still get to this point of, of how strong you are to this level of how strong you are eventually now I can just jump in them hit them with my W and proc uh, this uh, burn for two seconds because I'm directly hitting them also they aren't really capable of killing the echo as far as I see now I can just go here. I'm gonna put the vision worth here though. I can I can just wait for them to come. I could go on this guy. I think I go on this guy. I'm lagging. That's why I backed off. And the, the only problem is this set the fixed cooldown on the delivery, right? Because it's over now. It's almost over. I cannot. I need to waste it somewhere. Say, because the cooldown was, was done. I'm seeing Trash, I'm seeing the Q from Chogat. I'm seeing the poke that I can do. So I'm just playing around here. Okay, he missed that. If he hit that, I should have go there and help her. But now I'm just stacking up and I'm just going into the mid to late game nicely. I am, do I am having some lags, but the game is pretty much over at this point considering how much we stomped them early on. Alright. Let me just get this real quick. And now let's go back to mid lane, let's push the wave. Let's look for the next item, the infinity edge. Right? Correct me if I'm saying wrong things, by the way, guys. I am trying to teach people, but obviously there are some core who probably, certainly are better than me, so I know about the missing cannons, this is due to some lags that I'm generally having in these times. The internet is not as good because everyone is playing League of Legends now because everyone is home. <laughs> so yeah. I finished my Muramana by the way. And we can actually start thinking about other objectives. Your main goal besides lane phase and besides trying to murder people once you're fed or to create good team fights can also be to take drakes, to take barons, to play around the objectives. I'm going there going there and I am helping them. Uh, they aren't losing though. <laughs> yeah, the Trindamere actually destroyed them as well, so we can just try to finish the game here. I am... Jesus. You see the damage that I'm actually dealing just by one Q. I am that far ahead. Not in levels, because Trindamere is first in levels, but if you get a bit ahead on this champion, it's extremely fun. The, the entire package mechanic is immensely fun on Corky, so that is that. 
just just the early phase where you kind of have to deal with it and take damage to the face. Also, you don't have CC, so you're a, you're an ADC, right? Not a not a <laughs> champion on mid that can CC people. You're not an AP mage. You're kind of an AP mage because you throw a lot of AP stuff. But you're not an AP mage. You're an ADC kind of who deals AP damage, and you can create all sorts of scenarios. I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. I really hope you liked it. I really hope this was something that you like, this kind of video. And see you next time. I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to do this week probably another two Rune Talia videos. Uh, not Talia, so, sorry. In that Rune series and items and summoner spells, I'm going to do two more videos. I'm going to also, I'm going to also create a video on another Antilia gameplay maybe, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. See you next time, guys, and goodbye.